<laughs> Hello my friends, it's Ferris Jacqueline. Hello you guys, it's Ferris and welcome back to my channel. Today Store Stable updated a bunch of their graphics stuff so I thought I would go over to the graphics settings and explain some stuff to you guys and help you out if you have a slow computer, if you have a fast computer. I'll try my best to explain these definitions in the advanced settings and help you pick the best settings for your computer. So first of all, display mode. This has to do with your computer size. So you're gonna wanna pick one of these. My computer's pretty big, so that's why that number is pretty big. But if you have a smaller computer like a laptop, maybe click one of the smaller numbers and just see what works. If you click full screen, well, actually, I have a, I have two monitors, so, you know, you could click full screen. What happens is if you click out of something, um, like, like you won't have the little settings up here with the X and the minimize. So if you're somebody who multitasks like me, I don't have full screen on, but if you are somebody who only uses your computer while you play Star Stable, full screen would probably be a good option for you. So graphics quality, you can mess around with this. Um, my computer is extremely powerful. So I've got it all the way up. You notice if you do put it down, you will see the potato quality come out full force. So I had it at like here before, but we're going, we're going all the way. And you can even see it, like see this house over here? Look at, oh my gosh, the actually the tree just grows. That's all that, I'm just kidding. But really, the tree's growing. So definitely with higher quality, you're gonna see farther in the game, you're gonna see more details, etc. Let's get into these advanced settings. Advanced settings, shadows. So these are gonna add like real life shot. Hello there, what do you need? Hi, may how may I help you? Hi, what would you like to order? So with the shadows, you're gonna see real life shadows on the ground like that. That is going to require more power from your computer. It looks really cool because you know, shadows are in real life. So if you like it there, there you go. Click the button if you want them. Click, don't check it if you feel like your computer is slower. Vertical sync. Okay, so basically this enables your computer to only allow a certain amount of power. Um, you should check this box if you're playing the game and you notice graphic issues. So if you're playing and la 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 and you're still having issues with your computer, I would click that button. But if you're not, don't click it. Bloom. So this is creating this like dream like look. I'm kind of noticing it. I've been tinkering with it this morning. So Bloom basically with video games requires more computer power and it gives that glow effect, that lighting glow effect in video games. So if I unclick it, if you notice, I already clicked it and it already has some significant differences in the quality just by this. So when I think of Bloom, sometimes I just think of like glowing in a certain part of the game, but in this for right now, and I don't, I'm not a computer graphics person. I don't know too many things. I just know the basics. But when I click it, already there's so many differences and it's very much like a dream state. So I'm still wondering if I'm gonna keep this on or if I'm not going to keep it on because um, I kind of prefer the look without it. Here's the look without it again. I don't know, just things look a little bit more crisp to me, um, but you do what you wanna do. And then this anti-aliasing, it kind of sounds like it's a bad thing, but it actually requires more power. AA, that's what Will said, it's called AA. <laughs> Uses sources, so don't click this if you have a slow computer, um, but basically, it's, uh, what did he say? I don't know, it just makes a smoother appearance, so you're gonna need more power to your computer. So here is it without it. Here's it with it. It's really subtle, I think, but it will require a power, more powerful computer. And then this last one, this improves the quality of an image and textures, and it's just basically a little bit, you're gonna need a more powerful computer to do this one. This one requires you to log off to see a difference. So if I were to have a not so amazing computer. So these are the settings I would use if your computer's not so amazing. And these are the settings I would use if your computer is really powerful. And if you're not liking the dreamlike state, you can just uncheck bloom. Look at the shadows on my body. Oh, look at the shadows there. 
I think the game's looking really good. I don't know exactly what was updated. I just know they updated quite a bit. Yeah, I think it looks really sharp. So guys, let me log in and show you the like full blown coolness of the of the update with the with the quality of the game. These are the current settings. We have everything about vertical sync and it's on high quality. So here's what the game looks like. It's very pretty, very dreamlike. Lots of details. And here is the game with no bloom on. And here is the settings for that. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. Make sure to subscribe. Click on the card to see my other video for this update today going over the new high score races and all that jazz. And I will see you with the next video. Goodbye, my friends.